In this exercise, I'm going to create a simple setting for our gazebo using imported components. First, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape. I'm going to use 40 feet, 70 feet. Reverse this face. And maybe apply some material to it. I like this one. Let me make this one a little bit bigger. Six feet to this. Four feet. And a little bit lighter. Okay. So this is a plaza area. I'm going to put my gazebo right here and then input some benches, lights, um, and other some other features. And then some flowering bed in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to use the tape measure tool to create some guide to locate those furnishings. Uh, 15 feet, maybe 20 feet, and to the middle. So this is the center. I'm going to import my gazebo. So the first method to import a component is by clicking File, Import, and Find any sketch a file you stored on your own computer. When you bring it in, is a component. I have three steps, so I'm going to move it up seven, uh, 18 inches yeah, to show the steps. OK. So now I'm going to create some flowering bed in front of it, still using the tape measure tool. Uh, maybe align with this corner and this corner. Um, six feet from this point. And let me 32. So I'm going to push this one 20 feet, 25 feet. Okay, so you see what I'm going to do is I'm trying to create this rectangular shape of flowering bed. Maybe a lighter color. Yeah. So now I can go click view and uncheck the axis. Not the axis. Uncheck the guides. So if I click on my component panel, you can see, oops, I want to perch the unused one. So this is the only component in my model, is the gazebo. Now let's use the second method to impose some component. Click on this arrow next to the little house. There are a list of collections so coming with SketchUp is already there. So let's try one, the component sampler. There are some people and the furnishing, something to use quickly. So I'm going to use this bench and drag it into my model. 
Okay, so I'm going to use the Q is the rotation. Click on this origin, second click here, and third click here. And then I'm going to move it inward. Maybe six feet from the center. So if I, yeah. Okay. So notice there's a green icon next to this component. So when I leave my mouse right here, it's saying this is a dynamic component, which means this bench can be added. Let me right click on it and select the dynamic component and component options. So you will see what this bench can do. It can be resized using the scale tool. So let's try it. You see, instead of all the grips around, this bench can only be stretched. So changing the total length of it. So you cannot change the bench to be taller or wider because this is human dimension bench. But yeah, I'm going to stretch it maybe 1.2. You see the back changing accordingly. The spacing of the picket is still the same. So, okay. I'm going to make a copy of that one. Click M, move to, control key, maybe 15 feet, enter. That's good. So let's select both, hold on shift key to select both benches and make a copy from there to here. And then right click, flip along red. So I have four benches. Good. What's next? Can we use right here? Okay, there's a little fence maybe I can put in to define my plaza. How about I put it right here and rotate it to along this axis. So you see it's also a dynamic component. Let's right click and to see what's the options. Okay, the spacing can be changed. So I'm going to change it to a little bit bigger. Mm, maybe 12. Ah, okay, six. Okay, so now I'm going to do is I can, yeah, you can definitely make copies like from here to 10 feet and then select this going to read it and the scale this one to here then maybe a little bit taller huh. 1.2 enter okay I'm going to get rid of that one. 
and making this one 10. I think I'm going to need six of them because I have total 70 feet long. All right. So for the last one, I need to make a copy from here. here. Okay, it's a group. So I need to I see. Okay. So I need to copy this one. And use the Q. Okay, zoom in to select all the fans. And then flip along red. Oops. Move them back. Okay, I'm going to open, leave an opening at the back because I'm going to have some random picnic sitting area at the back. So making copies. Okay, you see this is a dynamic component as well. Right click, open the options. Oh, you can change the color of the umbrella and also how many seats I'm going to apply for okay so how about this one four i'm going to leave it blue and this guy four uh, a red one so there are some sitting seating area at the back. So we're giving it some material. Okay, what else we can use? I'm going to use this light. Select this light and put it right here. This is a dynamic component as well. So let's try scale it. Okay, too, too long. Here we go. Okay. Maybe some trees. There are 2D trees and the 3D trees. So I'm going to use the 2D one. huge. So I'm going to use the 
scale to make it shorter. See this one proportionally scaled. That's a dynamic component as well. So I'm going to give it a little bit different material. And then use you move to to make copies. I think I'm going to use 15 feet as well. 5x. Good. But maybe use this 3D. Put it as the red wood, right? At the back. So I'm going to scale it a little bit smaller proportionally. Okay. So making some copies. 3x. Making them a little bit different size, not so rigid as the street trees. So what else we can add? So now you learn these are some of the like architecture collections or landscape collections. They are the then DC means dynamic component. Yeah, we already use these. Oh, some high poly plants, shrubs. So always remember when you bring in a lot of 3D high poly components, it will slow down your modeling dramatically. So I usually uh, just bring in 2D plants. So yeah, these are the pre-installed component or SketchUp thinking good for sampler or training purpose. But the third method, you're not limited to the selections here. You can do a quick search in 3D warehouse. Let me search what else I can put in. A trash receptacle, urban one. Oh, good. This is actually our Oakland, Oakland trash receptacle. So I'm going to put it at this corner. Yep. And uh, how about some flowers? So I'm going to input flower bed. Let's see what we get. Okay, not too bad. How about this guy? Good. So we can put it right here in the middle. You can see this is a 2D flower. So when you orbit, the flower is a 2D image facing you. So which is means this component is light. So let's move this one. From here to the midpoint. Hmm. I still prefer move it in the center. Okay, so this is a not a dyna dynamic one. So if you stretch, you notice the paper is changing shape. It's bigger on the side than in the front. 
and the image a flower scaled bigger as well. But sometimes that's okay. So I'm just going to put them there. You can also input some people. People. Oh, I remember in the sampler there is some interesting person. So let's get some in the background. Okay, so now I'm going to search people 2D sit. Okay, this lady, lady is pretty good. So I bring it out and put it on my bench. Move it over. And the backward. So she's watching the kids playing with puppies. And uh, yeah, you get the basic uh, idea. Maybe this gentleman just finished reading a book. So basically just bring in some component, do a quick search, and then anything you feel interesting, you can bring in your model. So what I mean, I bring in the gazebo as a SketchUp file stored on my own computer. I use some collections, favorite collections uh, brought by SketchUp. And also I do a search in this searching area of 3D warehouse. You can also click on this window and click on 3D warehouse to active a separate window to do the search. So for example, let's search some other uh, tree 2D. So for example, I want to bring this little tree. So you click on download and uh, the SketchUp asking you load directly into your model, click on yes. And then I have this model inside. You can put it somewhere. All right, use your imagination and design a small park with all the imported component. This will be part of our second assignment due in two weeks. Don't forget to save your file. Going to call it park, enter. That's it for the second exercise.